I'm not competitive at all. I'm just kind of an easygoing drifter kind of character. <laughs> just, they call me the breeze. Just, <laughs> just rolling down the road, looking for more adventure, easygoing, you know, just whichever way the wind blows, that's where I go, you know. Everywhere I leave, I just leave footprints, a smile, and a faint whiff of chamomile tea. <laughs> the best way for me to prepare for this show is to go into a pub, right, go up to the biggest, hardest man in the pub, offer him out for a fight, get the shit beaten out of me, right? <laughs> and then the next day, go back to the same pub, go exactly the same road, do it over <laughs> and over <laughs> and over again. Am I the big man in the pub in that analogy? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> it's spelling and, spelling and counting rather than fists. <laughs> I'll take it. I'll take it. You should take John out and get him drunk the night before the show. Yeah. No, I'd rather lose. <laughs> <laughs> What else are you concerned about? Well, the gate I left open in that field. <laughs> Very irresponsible. <laughs> well, you wouldn't call it a field, it's more of a zoo. <laughs> <laughs> so irresponsible of me. Yeah. And that trail of snacks that led to the orphanage. <laughs> hey, Sean, are you normally quite good? You're better with the words than the numbers, aren't you? You're better with the words than the math. Oh, I think it's hard to judge. It's like, <laughs> it's like whether do you want to step in dog shit or cow shit, really. <laughs> What's the secret to your happiness? Simple things. A bluebell, the first bluebell of spring. <laughs> Coming home to a full mousetrap. Oh. <laughs> Isn't that lovely? Nice. Ten points a rod. Exactly the same. You got, you got it how? Same as that. Because <laughs> I got it, it's easy. I could do it blind, I could have done it blind. <laughs> it's like that moment in uh, Beautiful Mind when he just sees the equation and just goes... <laughs> I'll probably get asked to work for NASA after this. <laughs> in the canteen, obviously. <laughs> you don't believe okay. me? It's incredible, that is. After all the stuff I've done for you. <laughs> well, I won last week and, uh, you know, might win again. Doesn't matter though, does it? It's only a fucking teapot. <laughs> the 30 second clock plays a big part in Countdown. Do you think anything else would be improved in life by setting it to 30 seconds? Yeah, what are your DVDs? <laughs> <laughs> have you got a mascot this evening? I don't have a, um, a mascot, but I do have a present for everyone this week. I'd like to give everybody a little <laughs> present. Well, that's lovely. Uh, it's just something, a little something from me <laughs> that I'd like you to enjoy, you know, and help you <laughs> oh, <God>. enjoy <laughs> Countdown to <laughs> 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 Remember tonight as a very special experience yes, for lovely. everybody. <laughs> you like the one there, pass <laughs> one to Jimmy. <laughs> to <Sister Lassie. laughs> present from me to you. <laughs> Quite chunky, isn't it? <laughs> You've really got to squeeze it down to get anything yeah. out of it, but it's good. <laughs> You'll forget it's in your hand later and you put it in your mouth. <laughs> if you could be reincarnated as an animal, what animal would you choose? Uh, oh, definitely a uh, uh, dolphin, just to ruin their reputation. <laughs> <laughs> and Bill, we are very old friends. When we first met, we, we had the losing garden at the Chelsea Flower Show. Yeah. <laughs> Back in 84, wasn't it? That's right, yes. The one with the corpse in it. Yeah. <laughs> We go way back, way yeah. back. Yeah, and before that, we were cellmates in a Thai prison. <laughs> um, Sean, how do you think John and Josh can be defeated tonight? Well, I think there's a very good chance that they'll be thrown off course by uh, Josh's voice breaking. I think that's a good chance. <laughs> yeah, Bill, we don't need to worry about them because we've forgotten more words than, um... Than that. Th th than, um... <laughs> <laughs> than, um... I used to practice death rattles. <laughs> Could you give us an example of a death rattle? This is my own personal favourite. Oh. <laughs> Did you win last time? No, Sean. Sure. Uh, I was terrible. Uh, Thanks for having me back, though. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, to be honest, I don't have a lot of choice. <laughs> I don't, I'm not a very extravagant person. Sometimes I'll have a can of cider on a train. <laughs> In the morning. Because... It's fine to drink on an aeroplane, isn't it? Mm -hmm. If you drink at 9 o'clock in the morning on an aeroplane, it's fine because I try it's fine. If you do it on a train, people look at you like, you know, especially your, my daughter. 
<laughs> if we were to look up Sean Locke in the dictionary, what, what would we find? What would be the definition of Sean Locke? If you look me up in the dictionary, you'd get a four-letter word. It's got a C in it, a U in it, and a T in it. And that word is, of course, cute. <laughs> but really, I don't think a dictionary's got enough words in it to describe me. You know, I don't think... I, don't, I think this, I'm such an amazing, complicated... I'm more like a sensation, an idea. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> the best way to describe me is with a fragrance. <laughs> you smell it, you go, that's, that's Sean Locke. <laughs> smell it, you smell it. It'd be like hot tarmac and a vet's flannel. <laughs> Oh, what's, it, what's, what's going on on this apron? Well, <laughs> there's an empty bird's nest. <laughs> and then in the oven gloves, what have we got here? Oh, it's a little baby bird on his back. <laughs> Has he fallen <laughs> from the nest? <laughs> there's the little baby bird. <laughs> oh, and what's on this oven glove? It's a hungry cat. <laughs> You know the difference between a vowel and a consonant, don't you? No, not really. <laughs> no, honestly, I really don't. A vowel's a doing word. <laughs> Have any of you guys got mirrored ceilings? Because that would really enhance... Oh, what? Sorry, Rachel? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just... <laughs> I never... I thought you'd never ask. <laughs> I've got mirrored skirting boards. <laughs> you are, I could always look at my ankles. <laughs> <laughs> well, if I happen to have a lady in bed, I could look at her ankles. <laughs> or if I trip her up, I might see a nipple. <laughs> <laughs> but you do look a bit lonely up there sometimes, whereas Susie has a friend. Yeah, I know. I'm kind of a little bit segregated on my own little island over here. Yeah, and I think I'd <laughs> like that. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to be a bit lonelier on this show. <laughs> <laughs> As in not playing it. <laughs> David, you've performed stand-up comedy at Wembley Arena. I believe you were the first comedian ever to perform at, at Wembley Arena. How was that? It was good, although people say <laughs> that Sean Locke was the first comedian to perform uh, well, at Wembley Arena. Well, well, I believe he was, because he was your support no, actor. No, he so technically, wasn't. Sean was, yeah, was the... Yeah. No, no, you weren't. This is a comedy <laughs> movie. But Sean was our support, but he was in <laughs> sketches, so he actually didn't come on till about the middle of the show. But people just think it's true Well, now. let me just double-check with Sean. Sean, is that true that you were the first? Yes, I was first, yeah. <laughs> What I liked about the story was that there's some journalists concocted it and they, it kept, was fed back to me. I said, you were the first. And it's quite a good bit of publicity, so I just went, yeah. <laughs> so I went along with it for years. Yeah. And then it became the truth. Yeah. That's how history's written. <laughs> you described the greatest moment of your life as the moment that you discovered halloumi cheese. <laughs> it's rancid it's, shit. It's incredible. I nearly cried. I weeped. Was that to give it moisture, because yeah. it's so dry? <laughs> I love halloumi. What's... <laughs> it's very... <laughs> oh, my oh, pair of pricks. <laughs> Say anything about a halloumi, you've got me to deal with. It always falls apart on the barbecue. We don't yeah. barbecue it, you cock. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I'd make a lovely countdown casserole. Slow cooked it, and it's basically... What is this, Bake Off? What was that? <laughs> and all the ingredients are letters of the alphabet. So, in it, it's got apple... Bovril, <laughs> coriander. Then I thought, hmm, Vimto. <laughs> then a whelk, just one. Then I thought, why not an extra whelk? <laughs> <laughs> Yogurt and just a little, a little, a little zest. A little zest of lemon. And here it is. It's and I'm going to have a whelk on top. Do you have a, do you want a whelk? Oh, goodness, no. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen a whelk before, in all honesty. Well, I've got about 30 there. I'd, I'd pay £10 for a charity of your choice if you ate all of them in a row. <laughs> £10? <laughs> <laughs> what is your magic number to eat all the whelks? <laughs> you have £10,000, Jimmy. <laughs> That's That's Just to see the look and look like. Checking with the gallery whether we can... What does the banker can... say? Huh? What does the banker say? Oh, def definitely yes. Yeah. Go on. <laughs> what? Yeah, do it. <laughs> 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 You sure? <laughs> well, while the show goes on. What, what? Well, they're quite chewy. Yeah. <laughs> I, mean, I can't speak for everyone, but I'm happy to sit it out. <laughs> It'd be easier if I fed you, Sean. Look, and then you can just put all your effort into the chewing. You don't have to hold it. <laughs> <laughs> it's just really bad fun. <laughs> <laughs> 
I'll take responsibility for this. <laughs> Other than the financial aspect, Jimmy. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, what's next? We'll keep doing this. Did you taste the stew? What did you think of the stew? I thought it was quite nice, to be honest. <laughs> yeah. oh, it was a lot nicer than a hundred whelks. <laughs> <laughs> and the, the, the aftermath. <laughs> We're sharing a room. <laughs> well, uh... Sean, you're going to be very sick. You're not, you're not, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like it. Oh. John and Greg. <laughs> <laughs> the worst thing now would be to shit yourself and not have raised any money to charity. <laughs> What did Miles just say? He's <laughs> ready. <laughs> John, why don't you open up the curtains and I'll let the sun in? <laughs> so, before we do the final scores, uh, Sean, did you manage to down all of the walks? Yeah. He's, he's done it. Whole pot of walks! Whole pot of walks. <laughs> Get in.